Hamburger shirt. Hamburger shirt. Hamburger shirt. Hamburger shirt. Hamburger shirt. Burger shirt. Hamburger shirt. Hamburger shirt. Well, it's that time. The 5th, the 6th of November. It's sometime in November, in the beginning of November, and we are here. We are at the release of Fusion Strike. We're at pre-release right now. I can't go to pre-release events because I work every single pre-release event. However, they did have leftovers at my local game store. Not my localist game store, but I went a train ride down and there they are. We got it. Fusion Strike on hand. Are y'all ready? Let's, let's crack into this. Okay, so here we are. We have the build and battle box for one individual deck to build. And on the side, they did give me three free booster packs, which was totally cool of them. And I will be going back to this game store. I do not like my very local game store. They charge like 200% for products. So let's first open this guy up and get out our handy knife. I am super excited. I know I don't get product super early. I'm not one of those YouTubers that has those kind of perks, but I am kind of lucky when it comes to grabbing Pokemon products. So here we are. There's that Fusion Strike Battle box. It does open kind of like a, a deck box, so you can actually store your stuff inside of it. Um, so you slide this out first. And there's that opening there on the side. And you can pop it up. There's a little tab so you can reseal it. And inside we have the little promo sheet that's been coming with everything. Kind of just explains a little primer as to the set. It gives you some building tips, which is cool. And it does also give you the full set list. I try not to look at these too hard. Wow. I'm opening a new set because I do want to just be surprised. And here we go. We've got our promo. We've got Oracorio, which is actually the promo that I wanted. I'm not exactly excited about the rest of them, so we'll go ahead and move these packs to the side. Inside, if you've never opened one of these, there are four packs. So the ways that these work is that you're going to get the build and battle box, and you will be able to uh, build your own deck that's what these are for, so you should be able to build your deck within the half hour that they give it to you if you go to a pre-release event. But it does come with this um, pack of uh, pre-built, which is not enough for you to build a deck. So you get four packs, and from there you open these up and you can fill out the rest of your deck to get yourself to a full deck. And I think it's a pretty neat idea. Let's get this knife out of the <laughs> shot. Alright, I think it's a pretty neat idea. And, ooh, I spy on the back here something brand new. So we've got new code cards also for this set, which is very exciting. It means that we are going to see, finally, Pokemon uh, Trading Card Game Live, um, which is the update, the new app that we are using in place of Pokemon Center Online. So there you go. Um, and I don't know what the layout for these, what the good cards are yet, um, what the colors denote, but that is really cool. Okay, um, like I said, we got Fusion Strike or a Choreo, and it's <laughs> both the stamps for being a Fusion Strike Pokemon and for the promo for the set, so that's pretty cool. All right, what else we got in here? And these are all going to be the same, so we got Chili, Killian, and Cress. Elsa's Sparkle. These are all, not all, but a bunch of cards that I haven't seen yet. Professor's Research, the classic. Oh, the art for that Shauna is really adorable. Wow. Fusion Strike Energy, of course. And you get, I'm guessing four? No, three of those. Meloetta. I can read. I promise. I swear, I say that. 14 times every video, and you get three Meloetta. Ooh, that's a cool Smeargle. He's like dipping his paint tail in the water to clean it out. Very cute. Fog Crystal. 
Poke Kid. I'm always having to see Poke Kid in, in any deck. I don't know why. I really like the art. I like the idea of that <laughs> trainer. Bruno. Oh, a very pretty Dreepy. Oh, look at him. He's just floating there. All right, and you get how many Dreepy? Uh, three. And then Dracloak. So you get an evolution. So you get this full evolution line, I'm assuming. Um, Dracloak. There you go. Yep, there he is. Dragapult. So you got two Dracloaks, and how many Dragapults do you get? Just two. Um, okay. So that's it for the base deck. It's, uh, made for you to be able to just play right away as long as you fill out your deck with the packs, and that is what I'm really excited for here. So we've got seven packs to open here. We're going to leave this Mew to the end. Actually, we'll leave that Mew to the end. Um... All right, here we go. This pack art is super cool. Of course, you know that my aesthetic is uh, very pink and purple based. So this is my jam, absolutely. I got more ETBs than I anticipated. Oh my god, and they're on the front. Okay, these happen this way. So this is Chansey, and it's so cute. Uh, we're going to pull this off. I don't know what these mean yet, so one, two, three, and I think we follow the same format. We sure do. All right. Crossiever? Look, look at that art. Oh my goodness. That is really, really, really cute. I really like that card. Claude, sir? Uh... Of course that Chansey. This is one of my favorite cards that just exists anywhere at all. It's so cute. The artist is Miki Kudo, and hats off to them, because they have done it. They've made, they've made my gal. Adorable. Glaring Zagazagoon, Mankey, Clauncher, Growlithe. A Reverse Hollow Panseer, and on the end we've got... Oh, Hollow Toxtricity, one of my favorite of the Pokemon, and a Fusion Strike stamp there. It's good looking. Oh my goodness. Cool. Great. Love that. Good way to start. Not complaining. All right. On to the Gengar pack. He is terrifying, and I want to see him. So let's see if we can get him. Uh... I would like to know what you all have pulled so far, if you've gotten your hands on anything. One, two, three to the front. Burn it. And we've got Frostmoss. Themyscire in that acid style. Not, not my favorite. Farewell Bell. Basculin. Rapid Strike. IRL Grubbin, Knit, and Adorable. Uh, don't mind my fingers right now. I ate, um, Takis last night. <laughs> I swear I'm not bleeding, I'm not infected. I just, uh, had too many spicy chips. Alright, Mankey. I really like the art on that as well. Is this the same artist as that last one? Sal Sal. Okay, Mankey. Krogunk. That same Panseer. Our reverse is Maractus, and on the end we've got Araquanid. So it looks like the um, way that we're going to be able to tell what's what is these are the bad ones and these are the good ones. So that should give us some insight into what we are opening here today. I know it kind of ruins the surprise, but that's fine. I mean, it does it really... That's the thing. Does it really ruin the surprise, or do you just, like, know you're gonna get something good or not? Because you don't know what card you're gonna get. It doesn't tell you that. So there we go. Hopefully, something good. One, two, three. Flip it. Oh! Is this a new card, or have I just never seen this Wigglytuff? I love this. So, another IRL card. This is another knit one, but I've never seen this Wigglytuff one. 
Pardon my sniffle. And I love it. Phalanx, the boys are all here. Crack one open. It is my Saturday. Uh, Simiseer. My noon. Ball toy, the toy Pokemon. Galarian course, uh, looking so distraught. And you know what? They're right. Quillfish. Vulpix. Galarian Lanoon. That reverse is not the best. And on the end, what do we have? Oh my goodness, this is the card that I wanted. Chandelure V. It is so cool. I love that we are highlighting Chandelure in the set. I am very excited for it. And this was one of the cards that I wanted to pull the most. So very, very good. We're going to go ahead and take the time to put it into a sleeve because it is amazing. I really like Chandelure. I have one usually sitting in a gym at during uh, the day in Pokemon Go to uh, protect my local gyms. All right. I believe that's Genesect. And we're going to crack into that as well. Let's get it going. I love a fresh pack. They're kind of hard to open, but it is worth it for sure. Okay. Bad pack. One... Two, three. Flipper. We got Cross Switcher. Garbodor. That's cool, too. Oh, my. Pukumuku. Uh, this is a really long ability. Um, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it and put it at the bottom of your deck. If you do draw a card, you can't more, use more than one Pitch of Pukumuku ability each turn. That's pretty cool. I like the art on that as well. Okay. Ndidi. Growlithe. Phalanx. The boys. We've got two Phalanx in this, this deck then. That's cool. More Pico. That beautiful Smeargle art once again. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Meltan. Speaking of Pokemon Go, and on the end here we've got Azumarill. And it does seem as though the white code cards are going to be the not as good um, cards. <laughs> I don't want to say bad cards because they're not bad. No Pokemon cards are ever bad. All right, we've got Boltund here. We're almost done already. How sad. But we do have plenty of Fusion Strike coming in the mail. Um, oh, okay. Another bad one. One, two, three. Eldegoss. Ooh. <laughs> Those look delicious. What is this power tablet? During this turn, your Fusion Strike Pokemon attacks... Do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. That's cool. I like that. They just look really tasty. Beware. Another Quillfish. Dynamo. Little guy. Galarian Mouth. Gossifleur. Panpour. Reverse Hollow Dreepy, which I really do like. Ooh. That Fusion Strike stamp is nice. And then on the end, we've got Toxicroak. That is a really cool card. I know it's not a hollow or better, but it is really cool art. And I think it looks pretty good overall. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Go ahead and get that under there. And now we've just got the two Mew left. I'm going to do this one first and then save that one that was in the pack for last. In hopes that something amazing is in there. Um, we're going to slide this out of here Oop, real quick and let ourselves have the mystery of whether this is a good pack or not. Cool. Cross Seaver. Sligoo. Ooh! Wow, sir, is looking real cool in this. That is some wild artwork. He looks so mean. The boys are all here. Choodle. Bullaby. Dupiter. 
It's a really cute one. Oh, it's so flat. I love flat art styles. Ooh, a, a Meowth that I've never seen before. That's nice. All right, Reverse Hollow Skarmory. New to me as well. And then on the end, what do we got? Ooh, Gengar V. Lovely. Oh, man, that's a cool card. Okay, cool. All right. Not bad, not bad. I have not really read up on any of the card list for this set at all. Because I like to be pleasantly surprised when I start opening things. I had seen the Chandelure before, but I haven't seen most of these cards. And it's a real treat. Okay, here we are at the very end. And struggling just like a magic card. Oh, wow. Okay, the art on the sh shoulder is really cool. Okay. Uh, with speed. Cool. One, two, three. Flip that. And we've got Excadrill. Double. Spongy gloves. They look like SpongeBob SquarePants, truly. Man, the art on that shelter is so cool. Shelter Rapid Strike. That is really, really cool. Are those all shelter in the background, too? Oh, I love that. I love cards with other Pokemon in the background. <laughs> Look at it. They're looking at each other. That's a very cute Caterpie as well. Drillbur. Shanks. Buneary. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Helioptile. That makes it look like a golden card because he's so yellow and the background's brown and the card itself is yellow. That's pretty cool. And then on the end, what do we got? Oh, just Zerora. Okay, cool. Well, from this, not bad. We've got Gengar V and Chandelure V. And I guess, I think there is a full art of the Chandelure... Um, maybe a VMAX? Am I crazy? I don't know, but I am excited to open more of these. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want more. All right, that's it for my build and battle box. I know it was a short one, little opening, but I wanted to get into Fusion Strike before the actual release because this is very exciting. I hope you all have some great pulls out of your Fusion Strike, and I want to know what your goal card is. Go ahead and comment below. Like, subscribe, any kind of interaction really helps. So, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.